to get started, we want to make sure that we navigate over to the account that we are modifying. In my example, I just have a test patient named Harris Smith. And what I want to do for this specific patient is edit the insurance payment that has been attached. If I want to go ahead and modify the payment right now by double clicking into the check and deleting it, it will not allow me to do so because this payment is currently attached to a deposit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is first add a note to the account to mention that we're going to go ahead and modify or correct this payment. And there's two different ways you can do so. Number one, you can click on com log on the top left of the software and then add your note here. You can either do it through the com log so it gets added to the communications log for this patient, or you can also double click onto the insurance claim and add a claim note at the very bottom right side. If you have attached an EOB or scanned an EOB into your insurance check, you want to make sure that you grab a copy of that as well prior to making any further modifications. At the very bottom left, if you have scanned in a document, it'll show as yes for the EOB scan. So you want to make sure you either import it or download it onto your computer. Once you have grabbed all the relevant information, you're going to go ahead and close out of this window head on over to the Manage module and click on Deposits. Before you go ahead and delete the current deposit slip that you're going to modify, I would recommend that you create a temporary deposit slip so it catches any pending payments you have not finalized. So if I go ahead and click on Add, as you can see, I currently have one, pen, one payment that has not been added to any deposit slips. So to make sure that this does not get added to the uh, one that I'm going to modify, I will go ahead and create a temporary one to catch any other additional payments. Once I go ahead and press OK, I can go back to the original deposit that had my insurance check that I need to modify. And from here, I do recommend that you can either create a PDF or grab a copy of this in case you need to recreate any other additional information. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that deleting a payment or deleting a deposit slip will not delete any payments in your system. This just deletes the deposit slip itself. Once you have deleted the deposit slip, you should be able to go back over to the claim and modify the insurance payment because it is no longer attached. So if I go ahead and double click on this check and delete it, I can now double click into the procedures and modify the payment amounts. For example, for this Profi, I want to modify it from $100 to $110. If I double click on the procedure, at the very bottom right side, I can go ahead and swap it back out to $110. Once I verify that all the insurance information is set up correctly, I can click on this claim only and even add another additional note onto this check. Once I recreate the check, in case you need to um, add the EOB that you scanned in previously, you can go ahead and click on Scan EOB on the bottom left and either import or scan your previous EOB. Once you've finalized the payment and you corrected it to your liking, you can head on back over to the Manage module, click on Deposits, and click on Add. And you just want to make sure that you are recreating the exact date that you had before to make sure that the records stay the same. So as you can see, I backdated mine to May 1st, and the previous May 1st payments are in here. And now in case you needed to modify the insurance payment as well, you can backdate it to the 1st when you created the original uh, payment. In my example, I'm just going to leave it as the 19th and press OK. And then any temporary payments that you had, you can go back in there and delete the deposit slip. So in case you need to continue adding things, you definitely can without any additional confusion. Once you close out of here, you have corrected the insurance payment and you should be all set up and good to go. Thank you.